Good morning guys, Tony Maritato here. So in today's video, I'm unboxing a shoulder sling with an abduction pillow. Now I purchased this on Amazon over the weekend. I've been really excited to get it here in the clinic because I get a lot of patients who are planning on having rotator cuff repair surgery, but they've never worn a sling. They don't know how to position the sling. And even though the supplier does the best that they can after surgery, they're under the effects of the anesthesia, they're confused, they're groggy, they're not sure what's going on. So what I like to do is I like to have a practice sling here in the clinic for them to try and fit and make sure it's comfortable before they have surgery. So here is the sling that we purchased. I'm gonna go ahead and open it. Oh, there's actually a zipper across the top. So let's talk about the different components real quick. I'm gonna use um, the Velcro to separate it. It comes with the straps that are required. So we'll open all of these guys up. Here is the shoulder strap, and I'm gonna show you some alternatives on how to use the shoulder strap that might be a little more comfortable. You can see inside there's a ball so this ball is a squeeze ball. The purpose of that is when your arm is in the sling, if it's in a down dependent position for a prolonged period of time, several days, weeks, just over a month, you're gonna start getting a lot of swelling and tightness through the fingers. So the idea behind the squeeze ball is that you can start to exercise the grip to pump some of the fluid back out into the uh, system so that we can get the lymphatic drainage working a little bit better. So let's take a look at this. On the shoulder strap, you can see we've got an adjustable kind of cushion. The idea behind this, if this is used on a left, left shoulder, this strap will come over to the right side. If it's used on a right shoulder, this strap will come over to the left side. So it's, it's um, adjustable for both sides. The abduction pillow, a lot of times patients will use this incorrectly. There's a waist, waist strap for the abduction pillow, and you can see how it's curved on the inside. So that's intended to come in from the side around the rib cage with the arm in the sling on top. Too often I see patients use it like a shelf, and they try to rest the arm on top of the shelf. That's not the goal. The goal is to abduct or abduct the elbow away from the body to improve the circulation and the positioning of the rotator cuff tendons to allow optimal healing. So let's put this on and let's see what we can do. Now,